Hey guys, welcome back to Top Tipper Betting Tips. I trust you had a fantastic day's racing out at Gravel and you enjoyed the best bet, win bet, uh, shoot the Rapids winning by five, six lengths. Fantastic win there. We're going to have the postman tipping out at the Vol, so I'm going to hand you over to the postman for his analysis. Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, no matter where in the world you guys are. And a big warm welcome to the Top Tipper family. Before we get into our selections for Thursday the 21st, we've been doing really, really well. Over the weekend, we caught the bipod a couple of times. We caught the place accumulator a couple of times. Uh, each way, bet ran second. I think paid three rand a drum. So there's nothing wrong with that. And I see today that our best bet arrived as well. Um, so really, really, really it arrived like a good thing should. And that was shoot the rapids. So things are going really, really well. Um, let's hope we can continue. Racing comes to us on Thursday, 21st of December. We're at the Vol. We're on the main uh, track. Eight races carded. And first race, obviously, first leg of the bipod. Guys, what I'm going to do, I'm, I've, lo uh, I've gone very light earlier on. I've loaded up, I think, the last two Races of field races, really, really tough. Um, I think Craig Jack is going to have a red there today. Um, so let's go through these selections. In the first, or race one, this is due off at 12.35. This is a maiden plate for the girls over 1,600 meters. First selection, and a confident first selection is horse number nine, Kaki Boss. Uh, that is Craig Zaki for the Hudalakis yard. Around about 14 or 15 to 10. Worth a bet, um, get involved. I don't think that this will get beat. For second, I've gone for six. Uh, Tio uh, Toriate, this is Dennis Suarez for the Yonker Yard. Looking for an improved effort there. For third, I've gone for the 10 run maiden. Horse number one, the work of life. And for fourth, I've gone for the 10 Miss Platina. Samanga Kamala for David Niverhazen. I think this is currently third favorite at five to two. But question mark with the breeding, I don't know about the 1,600 meters. Um, so 9, 6, 1, and 10, and I think 9 is the right one. I think you can use that and take a double onto the second race. Second race is due off at 13, 10. Maiden plate, again, over 1,600 meters. And first section here, again, is horse number two, Mary, uh, Master Christmas. Craig Zaki, again, for the Huda Larkus Yard. If this horse was running over 1,900 or 2,000 meters, I would tell you to put the lights out. But still, 5 to 2, I think, is a decent price, and I certainly think is the horse to beat. For second, I've gone for the four. This is Office in Command. Cabela Macciani for the De Kock Yard. Um, you know, Craig did ride this one last month, so have a look at the betting. Craig will obviously know which one is better. And if, if a ton of support comes for the four, well, maybe just be careful, but I don't think so. I think the two is the right one. For third, I have gone for horse number 12, uh, Global Reef, Chase Mojan for the Dian Stenger Yard. Um, this ran six over this course and distance. First time out, went off at long odds, but again, maybe worth including if you're taking swingers and exactors and trifectas and for fourth I have gone for the one Williamson again Dennis Suarez for the Yonker Yard take note horse 11 has been scratched in race 2 we move on to the third race on the card Joff at 1350 made and plate for girls over 2000 meters and again I've gone for Craig Zaki here he's riding for David Niverhazen this horse is currently around about 14 to 1 um, this is the second run for the new yard. Um, first time out, it wasn't a bad effort. Um, however, I do think the 2000 will suit. I see David pulled the blinkers off his horse. And again, 14 to 1. Um, yeah, I think this one could be there and there about. Not the strongest race in the world. For second, I have gone for the five. This is out of dimension. Dennis Suarez for the De Kock yard. Again, this has run some fair races. Um, was staying on last time out behind Azalea's for all. 
And again, worth including into exotics. For third, we've got for six, Darling Harbour. I think we gave this as a place bet last night. Finished third. Behind beating wings was staying on. Um, for me, question mark distance, but don't leave it out. Larger perms. Uh, for fourth, we've gone for the four uh, Crimson Forest, Calvin Habib or Paulie Matchett. You know, not the easiest race in the card. If you can afford to put all four selections, please do so. One, five, six, and four. Fourth race on the card, mid rate of 67 handicap, over 2,400 uh, meters. And again, horse number two, Universal Love. Who's in the saddle? Craig Zaki, for whom? Lucky would like us. I think, again, I think Craig can have a really, really cracker day. I think this is a decent sort over this distance. Again, not the greatest field in the world, but should really, really go close. For second, I've gone for Nas Rafia, horse number 10, Indian War Dance. Uh, Madaseli Kajeli for the Tyrone Zaki Yard. Uh, he rode this one last night, finishing fourth out of five. Um, but again, I think he has been running to slightly stronger and dropping in the mid ratings. Uh, nice galloping mass of 54. I think can certainly make your swingers, traffickers, and quartets pay. For third, I've gone for the maiden, horse number five, Al Bayreg Gavlerina for the, the cock yard. Take note, guys, this horse has been called to run on Saturday as well. But just have a look at scratchings and jockey changes before you take your exotics. For fourth, we've gone for horse number one, Karapi Muzieni for the Mike and Adam Aziyad. Has, rid has ridden it in the long, uh, uh, three and four runs back. He did win on it and ran fourth. So again, should be there and thereabouts. So race four. 2, 10, 5, and 1. And I think if you use those four in your trifecta, swingers, exactors, you can pick up a couple bob there. Fifth race on the card. <clears throat> this is your 1,500 hours, uh, 1,700 meters, and it's a classified stakes. And take note, horse number one, the Tuli has been scratched, leaving us with a field of eight. And in this race, we find my each way value bet of the day, and this is horse number five, Little Miss Wagger. Muzigeni, Fani, Broncos, third run after rest. Um, certainly for me has been running against a lot stronger than uh, she meets in this field. With 56 on his back, currently around about 10 to 1, I certainly think is worth an each way touch. For second, I have gone for the three, Princess Ilaria, Samanga Kamala for the Bronco Shard, the stable companion. This is currently around about five to one. Um, has run over 1,500 meters and 1,600 meters a uh, while back. And again, for me, can certainly be there when the whips are cracking. For third, we've gone for the four, Bronze Sword, Calvin Abib for the Pedigree Yard. And for fourth, I have thrown horse number seven, Godfather. Jeff Seister for the Robin Clarkson Yard. So race five, five, three, four, and seven. And I do think Little Ms. Wagger is worth a small each way touch. We move on to race number six. And race six, which you off at 15.35. Mid rate is 79 handicap for girls, run over 1,600 meters. And this event here, yeah, I think, is the second of my win bets. And this is horse number 10, My Lady Soul. Who's in the saddle? Muzieni, Tyrone Zaki, 54 and a half on his back. Um, has been running in feature races. Um, certainly has taken on a lot stronger than it meets. And again, I think that this daughter of Master My Fate, currently around about five to two, is really, really, really good value. Um, what I always say to the guys, take a small double, take race five, Little Miss Swagger. On to My Lady Soul. If Little Miss Wagger wins, you don't have to put a cent on My Lady Soul. So think about that. Structure your bets before uh, laying them. But I do think that Ken is a nice uh, win bet. For second, I've gone for the two Radu. Uh, Calvin a bit for the Terry Yard. Um, last time I did have excuses. But I think Ken certainly fill in one of the minor spots. For third, gone for a nice little roughy. Yeah, horse number one, Ballroom Bliss. Gavel Arena for Byron Fuertes. is taking a drop in class, even though he's carrying 60 kilos. I think 
uh, can show can run a place here. And for fourth, we've gone for the three global choice. So race six, 10, two, one, and three. We'll move on to race seven. And as I said, the last two races, really, 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 really tough. Um, Race seven, I have gone three, down two, and ten. Um, super aggro at, at, at a <coughs> excuse me at a long price. Um, yes, just just be careful the the last two races. Um, we go and look at super aggro. Did run second to Esquivel. I do think he's drawn on the right side of the track. Dennis Swartz gets arrived. Um, with all due respect, I think he's stronger and more obviously more experienced than Trent Mayhew, and I really think that this is a little bit tickle at 10 to 1. Um, as I said, tough, tough race, putting as many as the budget will allow. We'll move on to race 8, due off at 16.35, mate rate is 68 handicap over 1,400 metres, one word field. Um, again, really, 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 really tough race. Um, you know, there's, there, there's nothing that stands out. I think it's around about seven to one the field. Um, guys, hopefully you've gone light earlier on. You know, in the place accumulator. If you can put the field there, at least you know that you're going to whatever percentage you get, you're going to travel up. I know there's a lot of horses running. Um, but I'd rather get a small percentage of something than catch a whole lot of nothing. So just please, please, please. We've gone 16, 17, 19, 1, 8, and 13. I mean, that's six horses out of 19, and I'm still um, a little worried that we're going to get through. So really, really tough, guys. Um, see if there's one or two scratchings. Maybe that will help us out in the morning. But tough, 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 tough. Feel load up there. Guys, as I said, we've had a great run. Um, I do fancy the horses earlier on. I think one can go light um, in the early races. Do so, structure your bets so that you can load up in the last two races. And let's see if we can continue on the winning run. Take it easy, look after yourself. Um, and I will be chatting to you guys on Friday evening. Stephen, back to you guys in the studio. Hey, thanks for that input post, man. I really appreciate that. I see you've tipped the eight race program out at the VAR. Your two bar pots, your PA. Uh, I see you got two win bets, Cocky Boss and My Lady Soul. And uh, your each way bet, my, uh, sorry, Little Ms. Swagger at 10 to 1. So that's fantastic value right there. And I see you've got a jackpot one and your jackpot two. So please, Lord, let them arrive for the punters. Let's keep our winning streak going for the guys and um, let them keep um, piling on the money for their Christmas. So guys, all in all, enjoy, have fun, break a leg and cheers for now.